Hello sewing people of the internet. I'm the Jason of all trades. I normally do sewing of kind of complicated things, uh, but today I'm going to bring you a really super simple project. This would be a great first sewing project, and it's also just a really practical thing that a lot of us could use, kind of justification for why I think everybody should have a sewing machine sitting around somewhere. So well, let's get started. Okay, so I'm a runner and a stand-up paddleboarder and do all kinds of stuff outside in Florida, and I end up sweating a lot as a result. I generally have a towel with me and I'll drape it over my car seat and it falls right off. So rather than buy something made for that purpose, I just went and bought a cheap beach towel at a discount store and I've just folded it over and I'm gonna sew on each side to make a pocket to fit over the headrest. This should work in my car and in my pickup, or just any car kind of universal thing. Uh, if you're doing this yourself, you know, take it out to your seat, and put it over, figure out about how long it needs to be to stay on the seat, and then I'm just gonna sew it. I'm not gonna change the thread in the machine. I don't care what needle I have. I don't care what stitch length I use, whether I wanna put a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch, none of that matters. You could do this with the simplest of sewing machines. Let me show you. To sew this project, I'm using my Singer 6360M heavy duty sewing machine. I'm using it because I was already using it for something else and I'm in the middle of a long-term evaluation of the machine. Don't let the heavy duty thing uh, make you concerned that your machine can't do this though. You would be able to sew this towel with pretty much any sewing machine. So if you are using this as a first time or, or one of your first sewing projects, the only really important thing to do is to do some reversing at the beginning and the end of your seam. That's a pretty typical thing to do to lock the stitches so they don't come undone. The nice thing about this is that if these stitches do come undone, then just do it again. It's not a life-saving piece of equipment or anything. So this is a great way to experiment and find out if you're using sufficient back stitches or uh, if you need to change anything about your setup. So there you have it, really simple project, great way to introduce yourself to sewing if you're not familiar. And if you're an experienced seamster, this is a super easy project if you need something like this. I've got lots of other projects, inspiration, and general sewing related videos on my channel. If you're new around here, make sure you click the subscribe button. If you like this video, clicking the thumbs up is always a nice thing to do. Put any questions or comments in the comments section below. There's some links in the description. If you click on some of those links, I'll get a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching. In case you're new around here, here's some examples of some other more complicated projects I've sewn, including this everyday carry backpack with a laptop sleeve. And then I also made this backpack that now I mostly use to carry my running gear in. I recently made this fanny pack, bum pack, waist pack, whatever you want to call it. I've also made this phone carrier for running and several of these water bottle carriers that I use when I run. If any of these projects interest you, I'll put links in the description below. Thanks for watching.